RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television, proudly presents... Screen Director's Playhouse, star Barbara Stanwyck, production The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, director Louis Milestone... The Hollywood Screen Directors present a play on murder. The motion picture drama, The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, starring Barbara Stanwyck in her original role. A murder has many parts. The murderer, the murdered, and those who see. The witnesses. It was an accident. An accident. I didn't want to kill her. You hated her, Martha. Yes. Hated her, Martha. Hated her. I was glad she was dead. The years have washed it away. He has washed nothing away. Your aunt has forgotten. She'll never be forgotten. Nobody knows. Walter knows. Walter is your husband. Sam Masterson knows. Sam Masterson is gone. Gone. He ran away. Gone the night of the murder. I was a child. Murder in the hands of a child. Martha, come closer. Yes. You're wet. Sloppy wet. Yeah. You tried to run away again. My niece was Sam Masterson. They didn't catch Sam. They'll never catch him. Each time you run away, you'll be brought back. Back to Ivor's town. Back to this house. I'll get away. You'll be an Ivor's. I'll wash the dirt and grime off you. My name is Smith. Same as my father's was. You're an Ivor's. The same as your mother was. Your father was a nobody, a dirty mill hand. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Martha? Martha, you'll apologize to your aunt. I have no need for your assistance, Mr. O'Neill. Oh, but it's Martha's tutor. Martha, go upstairs, change your clothes. I hate you. Uh, Mrs. Ivers, if, if Martha could only have the proper companionship, my son Walter, he's a good boy, a good influence. Mr. O'Neill. The Ivers of Iverstown have no desire to make a match with your spineless son. Oh, I didn't mean... Then what did you mean? Well, I thought if... If only Martha could be kept away from that Sam Masterson boy, that street urchin... Leave Martha to me. doing in my room? I heard they found you. I brought you a sandwich. I'm not hungry. Somebody's at your window. It, it's Sam. Let me in. I might be seen. Come on. Never mind, Walter. One peep out of you, Walter, and I'll break your nose. I, I won't see anything. Martha knows that. Martha, I'm leaving by myself. The circus goes tonight. I will be with it. I won't stay here. I hate her. Martha? Martha? My aunt. She's coming up the stairs. Sam, someone must have seen you. I'll leave. No. No, you wait. I'll meet her in the stairs. I won't be afraid anymore. Martha, who's up there with you? I'm coming, Aunt. Shut up, I said you saw someone climbing the wall. I'm coming. Sam Masterson in this house. I hate you. Don't stand there in the dark. And... Hate you. You little animal. <laughs> oh. Now I'll kill you. Martha. I hate you. <laughs> I killed her. With her own cane. I knew I would someday. Where's Sam? 
He must have run away. Out the window. Walter? Martha? What? What? Mrs. Ivers? Uh, there was a man. A, a big man. He'd broken into the house. We saw him. He threw her downstairs and then he ran away. Through the window of my room. Walter, is... Is this the truth? It is, Walter. Isn't it? Yes. Yes, it, it's the truth. Martha, you... You poor child, you'll be all alone now. Except for Walter and myself. But you needn't be afraid. We'll always be with you. We'll never leave you. Do you, Martha Ivers... Take this man, Walter O'Neill. We'll never leave you, Martha. And here in Irishtown, a new candidate was announced today in the district attorney race. His name, Walter O'Neill. We'll never leave you, Martha. My dear Martha, I can't tell you how much I regret the death of your father-in-law, Mr. O'Neill. We'll never... Leave you, Martha. Martha, my great and good wife, Martha. You're drunk, Walter. <laughs> well, even the district attorney is not without his advice. Why aren't you at your office? Because they prefer the lush respectability of the Ivers home. The Ivers home in Iverstown, the leading industry of which is the Ivers factory, and all of which is dominated by my sweet, my loyal, my true wife. Martha. Oh, don't start that again. Today is the fourth anniversary of my dear father's death. I'm a sentimental man. Yes, like your father was. No, I am truly. My father was a greedy man. He got what he wanted. You did too. No, Martha, I never got what I wanted. I wanted you. You're drinking too much. You and my father. Look, look into my glass, Martha. Can't you see it? The courtroom, me, the public prosecutor, demanding the life of an innocent man. I don't want you to talk about the it. The innocent man who was accused of the brutal slaying of your aunt, Mrs. Ivers. Keep quiet, Walter. And you looked at him, and my father looked at him, and I prosecuted him, and the state executed him, and he's dead. He was a criminal scum. He would have hanged anyway. He was a man. <laughs> but... But that's all part of our bargain, isn't it, Martha? And to forget about that night when you... Come in. Mrs. O'Neill. Yes, Henry. There's a gentleman to see you. I don't want to see anyone. All right, Henry. You'll see me. Who are you? Martha, Martha, you've become beautiful. <laughs> and you, Walter, a success. District attorney, my, my. Who are you? An old friend, Sam, Sam Matheson. Sa Sammy. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Sam, you've grown. You're big. Ah, uh, so you remember. Huh? Memories of the past, a delight forever. My wife dotes on the past. That sounds funny, Wally. What does? You're saying my wife. Does it? Oh, don't get sore. <laughs> well, it's, it's just that I was driving through town on my way out west, and, uh, well, I haven't been here since... Yeah? Since I ran away. What are you doing, Sam? Me? I gamble. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't we all? No, 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 for a living. I'm a gambler. Yeah, well, look, I've got to run. I, I need a shower and a shave, and, uh... Well, am I going to see you again? I'll be at the Gables Hotel. I'll call you, Sam. We'll call you, Sam. Martha, aren't you glad you didn't run away that night? I don't know. Goodbye, Sam. So long. He excites you, doesn't he, Martha? Oh, don't be ridiculous. He's an old friend. Is he? I remember your saying, Sam will never tell. Why? Why should he tell? He's a gambler. Couldn't you see it shining in his eyes? I saw something in his eyes. Yes. Blackmail. He wouldn't. You're worth millions. Well, I'm not worried. Why don't you have another drink?
then is the perfect solution to every problem. From how you can afford entertainment for a family of ten to how you can live alone and not be lonely. One RCA Victor set which wins heartfelt praise is a 16-inch console in provincial design, the TC-168. Its cabinet is a furniture masterpiece with such unusual details as doors beautifully framed, not only outside, but inside. And its performance is something to write home to RCA Victor about. Big, bright, steady pictures. Beautiful golden throat tone quality. An engineering perfection synonymous with the name RCA Victor. See this superb console and all its wonderful relatives at your RCA Victor dealer soon. There's a happy solution to one of your problems in RCA Victor Television. America's first, America's finest, America's favorite. <laughs> Now, back to the Screen Director's Playhouse production of The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, starring Barbara Stanwyck in her original role. Hello, Sam. I got your message at the hotel. Come in. Oh. Walter home? He went to his office. I see. I suppose now we look at each other and say, it's been a long time. Hasn't it? Fourteen years. Well, so what? Nothing changes. Nothing changes. Yeah, same house. I fixed it differently, Sam. Except for one room. Oh? Which one? Come on, I'll show you. What's it like to be a gambler? <laughs> What's it like to be rich and beautiful and powerful? Empty, Sam. From... Why'd you marry him? You remember Walter's father? Mr. O'Neill? Sure. <laughs> he arranged everything. He made sure I was never lonely. Here, Sam, this is the room. Oh. It's the only one I didn't change. Remember? Yeah. The night you tried to run away. I was scared that night. You don't know how scared. You? I wanted to be like you, Sam, never afraid of anything. <laughs> Aren't you confusing something? The present and the past. You said it yourself. Nothing changes. Oh, uh, we were just a couple of kids. We're not kids now. And you're here, Sam. Uh-oh. No dice, Martha. You picked Walter. You went away. I watched him today. I saw the way he looked at you. Like a dog. Sam, if you stay in either town, I'm you're going home. west, Martha. Oh, I'm sorry. Sam, will you kiss me goodbye? For old time's sake. Sure. For old time's sake. Company again, Martha. Walter, I Sam was, just... was just going. We were just saying goodbye. Goodbye, Sam. Now, look, I... Goodbye, I... Sam. And if you ever pass this way again, don't stop. Don't threaten me, Walter. Goodbye, Sam. I don't think I'll be leaving town. Not yet. You fool. He didn't want anything. He was going away. He'll go. Not now. I'm still district attorney in this town. You made him stay. For blackmail? No. No, not for blackmail. I know Sam. This is Walter O'Neill. I want to speak to Mr. Farrell. Hello, Farrell. I want you to do a job. Take down this name, Masterson. Sam Masterson. Who is it? Bellboy, Mr. Masterson. Oh, just a minute. Inside, Masterson. Who are you guys? Oh, hey. <laughs> Pick him up. Put him across the bed. What is it? Hold him. What did I? Hold him. Oh. Now I hope you got a strong stomach, Master. Oh. Sam. I'll be 
frightened, Walter. Hold on to the desk. Sam, you... You, you look terrible. Here, have a drink. Not this time, Walter. Oh, oh. Since when do you keep liquor in your desk? Oh, my hand. Here. Here's your gun. I... I wasn't going to shoot. Something funny happened to me this morning, Walter. I had my guts pounded by three thugs. Scientific, beautiful. Walter, what did... Sam. Sam, you're hurt. Yeah, I met some of your husband's bully boys. They ruined my digestion. I... I thought they might scare you into not coming back. I'm scared to death. So we're ready to listen to the current quotation on blackmail. Walter. Blackmail? What's your price? To old friends, remember. I see. Which one of you do I deal with? With me. All right, Martha, with you. I'll pick you up later. And Walter, don't use your hoods again. I make this a flat statement. I'll kill you. Walter, I think he would. Would you like that, Martha? He'll go away tonight. Only if you want him to. I know you, Martha. Your hand is hurt. I'd better bandage you. Sam! Sam! Conference is called. Where are we going? I thought we'd drive up to the mountain. It's getting dark. You'll like the view. I thought this was business. It is. Well, what do you want, Sam? Let's say half. Half of what? Half of everything. You're crazy. I made my offer. You're a gambler, Sam. Double or nothing. How? I'll let you know. I'll call it when I'm ready. Ivers Town. From up here, it doesn't even look real. Ivers, Ivers, Ivers. Oh, Sam. Sam, why did you run away? Why didn't you stay with me? The circus was leaving town that night. Why didn't you stop me? It would have saved everything. My marriage to Walter, convicting that man of my aunt's murder. Oh, Sam, you knew I hated her. Why did you let me go out there to kill her? Why did you let me murder her? Martha. I wasn't there. What? I wasn't there. You didn't know? I left through the window. I, I didn't know you killed your aunt. I didn't know you convicted another man. I I'll didn't know you were you. wild. I'll you kill were always you, wild. Sam, Sam, oh. I'll kill... Oh, Sam, you, you're not going to go away again. I want you here. I've lived so much inside of me, so desperate for air. Oh, Sam, please, please stay here. Thank you, Mr. Masterson, for the return of my wife. Sam, he's drunk. No, not drunk, Sam. This is a ritual. I did it with all the others. What about the others? He's lying, Sam. You, Sam, you're all of them. All rolled into one. What about she didn't want to marry you? She married me for protection. Don't listen to him, Sam. And now you're the protector. She'll try to get you to kill me just as she got me to send an innocent man to the gallery. She and his father, they were like leeches. They wanted everything. I only wanted you. I only... Oh. Oh, Sam, you mustn't think I'm drunk. It's just that... that... I'll go downstairs. Martha, help me. Get out of my sight. Stairs. Wait, wait, Sam. Oh. He's unconscious, Sam. You can do it now. What? Set me free. Set us both free. He fell down the stairs, fractured his skull. That's how he died. Oh, Sam, it can be so easy, so easy. Now is the time, Sam. Double or nothing. Go on, Sam. Double or nothing. Uh, I'll 
carry him to the couch. Sam, I thought you loved me. I thought so, too. Now you hate me. You're sick. In your mind, you're sick. Well, oh, I must have fallen. Walter, are you all right now? Sam. You had your chance. You should have taken it. Turn around, Sam. Yeah, it's Martha. I'll... Oh. Walter's gun, huh? Double or nothing, Sam. Kill Martha. Kill again. Neither my aunt nor that criminal had a right to live. You didn't think Walter had either. Walter and I can't let you go away. Can we, Walter? Why is he smiling, Martha? Why does he smile like that? Speak, Walter. Tell him. Walter. He's laughing, Martha. He's laughing at you. I'll kill you. I'll say you broke into the house, demanded money. I'll say it was in self-defense. If Walter will be your witness. You will. Won't you, Walter? Don't you know, Martha? Don't you know what I want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for both of you. I'm leaving. Go ahead and shoot, Martha. that eddied through that house. The Ivers Mansion. Ivers, 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 Ivers. Then I knew the pain had ended for both of them. It was over. Jimmy Wallington speaking. You have just heard the last act of The Strange Love of Martha Ivers. And our star, Barbara Stanwyck, with guest screen director Lewis Milestone, will be with us in just a moment. Next Friday, the Screen Director's Playhouse presents, for the first time on the air, an adaptation of Walt Disney's beloved musical fairy tale, Cinderella. RCA Victor singing star, Eileen Wood, with the original cast, and of course, the world's most beguiling mice, Gus Gus and Jacques Jacques. Now, here again is tonight's star, Barbara Stanwyck. Well, Barbara, I understand you're off to Italy any minute to be with your husband, Bob Taylor, while he's making Covadas on location. That's right, Jimmy. When are you leaving? In a few weeks, providing I finish the million things I have to do first. Well, maybe I could help you. Tell me, do you have to buy any last-minute wedding presents? Oh, I certainly do. Three of them. Oh, no, four. So when I'm going to shop for them, I don't know. Oh, but you don't have to shop for them. You just call your RCA Victor dealer and say, Mac, uh, I uh, want my, one... Uh, my dealer's name is Bill. Oh, all right. So it's Bill. You say, Bill, I hear you have the perfect wedding present, the most amazing combination offer in the history of recorded music. An RCA Victor Victrola 45, the finest automatic phonograph ever made, plus a very special album of ten records for the usual price of the Victrola 45 alone, only twenty nine ninety five. I, um, uh, I say all that in one mouthful? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. And then Bill might say, you heard right, Miss Stanwyck. Here's a poem I just wrote. <clears throat> Did you know that you could get a Victrola 45, the phonograph that makes recorded music sound alive, plus ten records ranging from classical to jive for only $29.95? And it is the perfect gift for any bridegroom and his wife. Bill says that? My bill? Yep. Uh What do you think of it? Well, I think your verse couldn't be worse. (laughs) But your RCA Victor wedding present idea couldn't be better. What's in the special album? Well, for the honeymoon, there's Moonlight Serenade by Tex Beneke. 
And Racing with the Moon by Vaughn Monroe. Oh, that's real soon stuff. Oh, but that's not all, Barbara. There's Sammy Kay's The World is Waiting for the Sunrise, and also Perry Como singing Ave Maria and the Lord's Prayer. A perfect ending for any day. And there's music by such people as Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, Wayne King, Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops. 24 selections in all from the music America loves best by 10 of the artists they love best. Uh, Jimmy, can you give me an idea for my gift cards to go with the RCA Victor 45 and the album? Well, Barbara, let's see. How about writing on the card, a gift to match your marriage, some perfect harmony? Oh, thanks for a swell idea, Jimmy. I'll be calling Bill tomorrow. Friends, for this marvelous 45 combination offer, follow Barbara Stanwyck's lead. Just call up or call on your RCA Victor dealer soon. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid there were no really nice people in the story of Martha Ivers, so if you must blame our nastiness on someone, why, blame it on the director. In his mild, smiling way, he made us all quite unpleasant, and we adored him for it. Now, I'd like you to meet him, the brilliant creator of such unforgettable drama as All Quiet on the Western Front, of Mice and Men, and A Walk in the Sun, my director, Lewis Milestone. Thank you, Barbara. At the risk of sounding like a director, and that's something a director should never do, I'd like to tell these good people about your performance. You know, it takes a talented actress to win the heart of an audience, but to make an audience despise her, as you did tonight, Barbara. That requires the most superb and delicate artistry. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't let her acting frighten you. Next time, she'll make up for it and win your hearts back again. Thank you, and good night, Barbara. Good night, Millie. Good night, everyone. And good night to you, Barbara Stanwyck and Louis Milestone. Remember, next week, the never-to-be-forgotten delight of Walt Disney's Cinderella, starring the original cast. Another first brought to you by RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. The Strange Love of Martha Ivers was presented through the courtesy of Hal Wallace Productions, whose current release is the Paramount picture, My Friend Irma Goes West, starring John Lund, Corrine Calvay, Diana Lynn, and Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis with Marie Wilson. Barbara Stanwyck will soon be seen in the Hal Wallace production for Paramount, The Fury. Lewis Milestone's latest picture is the 20th Century Fox Technicolor production, Halls of Montezuma. Included in tonight's cast were Gerald Moore as Sam Masterson, Wilms Herbert, Jack Edwards, Eleanor Audley, Lou Merrill, Gain Whitman, Ken Christie, Norma Jean Nielsen, Joel Nessler, and Jeffrey Silvers. The Strange Love of Martha Ivers was adapted for radio by Richard Allen Simmons. And original music was composed and conducted by Robert Armbruster. Screen Director's Playhouse is produced under the supervision of Howard Wiley and directed by Bill Karn. A portion of the program was transcribed. You're invited to listen again next Friday when RCA Victor presents Walt Disney's cartoon masterpiece, Cinderella. <laughs> listen next for Jimmy Durante on NBC. Los Angeles, Earl C. Anthony, Incorporated.